All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. Apologies about this. It's been a very, very rainy day and my umbrella broke and it's done wonders for my hair. So I look like a bit of a meth, more of a meth than I usually do. Is meth politically correct? Or as someone latched on to say, oh, you shouldn't say that because this is bad. I don't know, but I feel like a meth. I look like a meth. And I don't know how you make a segue, but we went. And yeah, you can see the door. So professional. So today, this is the first time uh, going over to Simple Things Fermentations. Been wanting to try um, something from these guys for absolutely ages because I just like the uh, the branding. I've still yet to see what the merch is like, so uh, we shall see. Depending on how this one goes, could be doing a bit of a, an order if they do direct sales, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, so these are obviously out of Scotland. So living beer made in Glasgow, dare to be honest and fear no labour. Trying to think of a funny Keir Starmer reference, but I can't. Um, yeah, so this is... Uh, a malt-driven ale infused with spruce tips, 5.5% ABV, a uh, Scottish export. In this contemporary take on the classic Scottish 80 shilling style, the malted grains work together to provide a luscious combination of toffee sweetness and soft, smooth, honey-coated raisins. With whole cone fuggles and spruce tips contributing to an earthy pine citrus edge. So it sounds very interesting. Pick this up from Beer Moth. Um, they had a few of the um, Simple Things beers. But I think the one thing that's put me off uh, making a, an order is because, of course, there's a lot of like as they say, living beer. I think they do a lot of sort of like um, wild takes on things. That could be a very uneducated, ignorant assumption uh, going off some of the beers that I've seen. But this one stuck out to me because I've been wanting to have a bit of a dark beer. I had all intentions of picking up um, a couple of Imperial Stouts, but that didn't happen. And it was just juice, which I'm getting sick of just buying hoppy beers when I do, um, when I go beer shopping. So, uh, yeah, definitely, especially at this time of the year, as you can see, keeping my uh, five chins warm with the, the beard. Although it is coming along quite nicely. It depends if it's like that. I need to, like, put some effort into it, like get some beard oil or, you know, give it a trim, shape it. I don't know. But uh, this is the only masculine thing about me because I'm uber femme. <laughs> I've come to the realisation that I'm very... I don't know, don't want to say camp, but um, yeah. What the fuck am I saying? I don't know. Um, I'm just not like lad, lads, 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 lads. Anyway, very awkward uh, thing to say, Peter, but we'll just move on. So yeah, spruce tips in there. Very interested to see what this is like. Uh, while I was in Manchester, went to Cafe Beamoff as well. And I actually bought uh, this before anyone says, oh, uh, they didn't actually have any of the beam off glasses because people just keep on stealing them, apparently. Um, so they said, oh, we've only got these cloud water ones. And I've really been wanting to actually pick up because I'm really enjoying stemmed glassware in general. To the point where I'm thinking of, is there a, is there like a specialised place that you can sell beer glasses? Like, I don't want to put them on forums and stuff on Facebook because that's just toxic. It'll create a fucking outrage for no reason over nothing at all in those sorts of uh, beer forums. Beer forums are very much like that, I've found. Toxic as fuck. Um, but there's some good banter in there. Time to time, until someone gets a knock and next thing you know, you've got fake profiles harassing you and your family. I don't know if anything like that's actually happened, but it would not surprise me if some of the degenerates who are in craft beer 
not just the drinkers, some of the people in the industry itself, but um, ignore what I've just said then because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Although you do hear that there's some proper arseholes in the industry, as there would be in any industry, do you know what I mean? So take that as you will. So beer in the glass then, and it's a lovely sort of chestnutty, slightly um, reddy shoed brown ale. I can't remember, is this like Scotch ale or like along those same lines? Um, I can't really remember what, like fundamentally what an 80 shilling is supposed to be. Like basically I know that it's going to be a very malty uh, brew, which is lots of my hair's doing my absolute fucking left nutting. Anyway, looks very nice in the glass. No head to speak of really, it died down quite quick. I am getting a bit of that spruce, but I am getting like a really nice malty, I know that's generic as fuck to say, but very malty brew indeed. Almost like um, one of those like malt forward soft drinks that you get in countries like Germany and stuff. Which by the way, I know there are like craft beer places that sell Fritz Cola and stuff like that. But does anybody know, and not just craft beer places, but does anybody know anywhere in the UK? I could just Google it and find it and just buy it, but... I'm trying to engage with the audience, the audience that I never respond to comments to. But Club Marte, I think it's Club Marte. It's not Club Mate, it's spelled Club Mate. But I'm sure it's pronounced Club Marte. No idea what it is, but I, I, I drank it a few times whilst in Germany. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, for some reason, my left nostril is starting to run. Probably trying to run away from the absolute bullshit that's coming out my mouth at the moment but yeah it's got that slight not piney although spruce and pine I think there's you know some visually in your mind quite similar but yeah sap like tree sap I like the way I emphasize the p in sap I am a big sap But yeah, there's there's not much else going on. Um, I wouldn't really expect it to be like a fragrant, like fills the room sort of beer. But it smells very nice. A little bit of toffee in there. But like woody, earthy sort of characters as well. Anyway, smells good, looks good. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, folks. Oh, that is different. Very different. First thing that comes to mind is some of the the Christmas beers the likes of Michaela and Tuol would do. Yeah, it reminds me of when I had that Tuol advent calendar, which got that was a slog to try and get daily videos of that uploaded. Um, I want to do an advent calendar this year, but I kind of don't want to. I want to do like what Merz Beers does and like throughout the year buys beers to put in the calendar and stuff, but I don't have the patience. Um, this little haul that I made from Beer Moth and Ancoats General Store, it won't last. I'll drink it really quickly and then I'll be beerless again. But yeah, it, re it reminds me of like a Christmas beer that either Mikola or Tuol would do. It's got a toffee flavour to it, but it's not sweet. Or rarely sweet, if that makes sense. Like, I'd imagine this is what, like, a, a malt extract spread would kind of be like. I've never had Vegemite or Marmite. I know there are other variations of that. You could basically turn anything into something that's spreadable on bread and toast.
There's like the slightest citrusy edge coming from the spruce on this, but I think you'd be hard pressed to rarely find that character. Obviously, reading the description on the can, it implants things in your head when it comes to actually, you know, reviewing the beer. But yeah, there's this like really like old school rustic sort of feel to it. You know, it's it's never gonna blow blow you away. Um, you know, it's not hype. It's nothing like that. And I like it for that. It's just something that feels really rustic and old school. Slight contemporary twist with the addition of spruce in there. But very autumnal winter, and as said, quite festive. There's something festive about it. But um, yeah, an interest in being unless it's far from dull, it's far from boring, light bodied, relatively light bodied, but it carries the flavours quite nicely. So what else was there in there? Fuggles. Well, you're getting the earthiness of fuggles. A pine citrus edge. Definitely earthy. Not really getting the pine citrus edge. Slight, like subtle pine notes that just lift it. Doesn't really finish with any like prolonged bitterness or aftertaste. Yeah. Um, it to be honest, an awful beer to try and do a beer review of, um, just because. And I don't mean this in a bad way at all. There's not much to say about it. But if you like these sorts of beers, then I think this is just nice. It's just a nice sit in your chair, put the tally on and just sit back and enjoy. And um, yeah, I'm very much interested in picking more stuff up from Simple Things Fermentation. I just really, really like the, the label art. And the typography, which is, uh, is that a Cooper uh, typeface or part of that family? Maybe that should be my new channel, um, sort of like angle, talking about the typography on beer labels and beer branding. But yeah, it's got like a retro feel to it, which I very much like, which you get from that style of typography. And it makes like... 99.9% .9 of the words in the known English language. Um, just really aesthetically pleasing to read. Anyway, maybe I'll start a typography channel, which I'll do a few videos and then just completely abandon um, because of my intellect, like lack of intellectual property and what the fuck am i saying stop using big words to try and show off you stupid prick anyway so if you've tried this or anything else from stf we'll just call them stf he says that at the end of the video when he could have said that earlier on you know it is what it is and what it is is what it is so if you tried it let no thoughts opinions down below any recommendations uh from beers from this brewery greatly appreciated I think I've had something on tap before or a collaboration, but this is the first beer that I've knowingly consumed um, from the brewery. And yeah, very interesting first beer. And I like the fact that alternate colours flip from side to side. How's that capturing that? I wonder how that's going to look back on playback. I don't know. I don't care. <coughs> Anyway, I went to uh, Copenhagen Tiger and got some Brunkaga Christmas cookies. So maybe that'll complement that quite nicely. Who knows? Probably won't. Anyway, cheers for watching. You'll take care. Links in the description. And I shall hopefully see you all later with better hair. How many times do I end my videos with that saying? I don't know. Too many to mention.